pumped to announce that Build Alpha now does intermarket signals. Uh, so what does that mean? That means we can now create strategies for, say, the stock market while taking into account what gold's doing and what the bond market's doing. Or you can create an oil strategy that takes into account natural gas and copper. Um, so what I've done is I've added this market two and market three. So in this example, we would be creating a strategy for SPY, the S&P 500 ETF, and we'd be taking into account signals for GLD, which is the gold ETF. So I've actually left market three blank, uh, so I could show you guys that when you leave it blank, uh, Build Alpha will go ahead and gray out all the market three signals, so you don't have to worry about them being selected or included in any strategy. Um, and you don't have to have a market two or market three. They can be left blank um, if you prefer. So I've gone ahead and selected 40 signals out of the over 3,500 now available. Uh, about half of those are two period RSIs on SPY and about half of them are moving average signals on GLD gold. Uh, so I'm going to save you guys about the 10-15 seconds it takes to run the 40 signals and just show you guys the results. Um, so as you can see this is the output window um, and if you haven't seen it please watch the other videos. Uh, so this is what the top strategy looks like so not bad for only picking you know 40 pretty simple signals. So I want to use this button right here this is generate easy language code for trade station and multi charts um, just so we can break down the signals so this first one uh, actually let's start with these last three they all have close two, which means the close of market two so if you remember from our input screen close to uh, market two is gold so all these signals actually come from our secondary market so let's break them down. If gold's 50 period moving average is above its 200 period moving average, but gold's close is below its 10 period moving average and its 50 period moving average, all while SPY's two period RSI is less than 90, then we're gonna buy SPY and hold it for two days. That's as simple strategy as we can get. And as you can see, pretty decent results. Um, and why two? Because we set on the input screen that our max holding time would be two. All right, so that's it, guys. Uh, happy to announce Build Alpha now does intermarket signals. Thanks.